buying iPods from eBay. So, you're like me, right? You think, right, fella? I got the old iPods from eBay, it's a lot of music on them, but I plug it into my computer and I can't get it off, so what am I to do? Now, there are absolutely ways to get music off of these old iPods. It's not the most intuitive thing, but once you know how to do it, you know how to do it. And that's what this video is for, failure. I'm gonna teach you how to get music off of these old iPods and these things have just died me. Come back, there we go. Now, when you get iPods from eBay, you're gonna look for one thing. Go to settings, go to about, and scroll down. If it says format windows, it's format windows, no doubt. But if it doesn't say that, that means it's formatted Mac. Now, what is the difference? Well, Windows formatted iPods can be plugged into both a Mac and a PC. If you plug it in, it'll just show up as a normal hard drive. Mac formatted iPods though, can only be plugged into a Mac. If you plug it into a Windows computer, it'll say, what is this? We piss off. So we're gonna start with the Windows formatted iPod. Now, what are you gonna need for this? You're gonna need a Windows formatted iPod, no duh. You're gonna need a 30 pin USB cable, and you're gonna need a Windows computer, which I have off camera. Now, a quick word about these third gens. If you don't have a third gen, you have like a fourth, fifth, sixth gen, uh, you can go ahead and skip this. But for these third gens, you're gonna need a very special cable. You're gonna need Firewire. This puts out way more electricity than ye old USB. And the thing is, these can actually like run iPods, even if the battery is just completely done for. These, it will boot up and run on this. Now if you unplug it, it'll immediately just turn off. But if you're getting pods off eBay and trying to revive them, I very much recommend you grab one of these cables. Doubly so, if you have one of these third gens, because third gens can only charge over Firewire. That's just how it is. If you try to put it on USB, it'll just stay in this state of charging for forever. All right, so now that you have your iPod connected to your PC, you're gonna wanna go into the File Explorer and it should come up as its own drive, kind of like a USB drive. Now, when you open up this file, you're gonna to wanna to go to view, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure this box is checked, hidden items. You're gonna to wanna to check this box. When you check it, you're gonna see a few extra folders come up. You wanna click on the one that says iPod underscore control. And then you're gonna to wanna to go to music and you're gonna see all of these files. Now, this is where things can get a little weird. So what we're gonna to wanna to do now is uh, right click on your desktop, we're gonna make a new folder, call this, uh, what should we call it? Uh, Dank music, we'll call it that. So now what you're gonna to wanna to do Open up each of these folders. You're gonna to wanna to hit Control A to select everything in the folder. Control C to copy. Open up your other folder. And you're gonna go in here and then Control V. It's gonna transfer all the files over. Now what I'm doing here is because I wanna transfer these files over to my Mac. And Mac OS doesn't really like hidden folders. So I have to transfer the loose files separately. But if you're just doing this to your main computer, you don't have to do this. Just copy the main folders over and you should be good. I'm just doing this because I'm weird. All right, something I should say at the very end is that because the file names are this weird like scrambled thing you get from iTunes, uh, what I recommend you do is you use like a third-party software like a uh, Groove Music But yeah, you can just use this Or you can actually use iTunes. You can download it from a Apple site and it works on Windows So yeah
It's Mac time, boys. So what you're gonna need for this, you're gonna need a Mac formatted iPod. So you're gonna need one of these. You're gonna need USB to 30 pin to connect it to your Mac. And you're also gonna need a Mac, which I have right here. So let's get everything set up. So now we got our iPod connected. You're gonna to wanna to go through this iPod screen. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure this is checked. Enable disk usage. That's gonna pop up this icon over here. If this icon doesn't show up, disconnect the iPod and plug it back in. It should pop up. We're gonna open this up. And you're gonna see these folders. Uh, these folders are useless. All the music is in hidden folders. So, in order to do that, control space, spotlight search. Now, what I want you to do, you're gonna go down into the description. You're gonna find the terminal folder code and you're gonna copy the turn hit folders on code. For those who wanna type it out, it is defaults space write space com.apple.finder space apple show all files space dash B O O L space true you're gonna hit enter and then you're gonna type in kill all finder and then we're gonna open this up and you're gonna see all of these files come up you're gonna want to click ipod control music and then here you have all of your files now you're going to want to go in your desktop, new folder. We're going to name it Epic Music. Open up your folder. You're going to go in each one of these folders on your iPod. You're going to hit Control A to select, Control Copy, click on your other folder, and then you're going to hit Command V. And this is going to copy all of those files over. And for this, you're going to have to do this for every single one of these folders. So, grab some to drink. I hope you're not doing anything because it's going to take a good while. copied all those files to select all and then you're going to drag and drop them into iTunes oh, you're going to wait for the little plus icon to come up and then you're going to and now you're going to wait for it to uh, go into iTunes oh man all right so now we have all of our music in uh, iTunes. So yeah, you can tell if it's new, if it has this little like a uh, circle thing because it's still like downloading or like installing into this. Oh yeah, by the way, this iPod, this, this thing's warm. Like holy crap, this thing is warm, man. Holy crap. I mean, it's like when you've been playing games on your phone for a while and you kind of like put it on the back of your hand and it goes Tss. Yeah, that's what, the, that's what, that's how warm this thing is. Oh God. And with that, we're uh, pretty much done. If you have any questions, throw them down in the comment section. I'll do what I can to get to them. Like, sub, and whatever. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.